for the perimeter of polygons, I almost feel guilty making this video because it's so easy. Like this is one of those things where it's like, I challenge you to explain this for more than 10 seconds because it's so straightforward, but I think I might be able to actually. So basically all that you do for perimeter is you just add up the lengths of the side. So for example, if this sucker was, you know, this triangle here, who cares? Let's call it eight, you know, 12 and 10. And let's give it some units, centimeters, centimeters, centimeters. And they said, okay, find the perimeter of this triangle. 8 plus 12 is 20. This is just plus 10. This would just be 30 centimeters. So perimeter is shockingly easy if you're given the lengths of all the sides, right? The only way they can make it mildly difficult is if somehow they neglect to give you the sides and then you'd have to be like smart in finding them. Like they might say something like this. This shape here is a rectangle. You know, maybe this is four, maybe this is 10. And you're thinking, okay, Ryan said the perimeter is easy if they give me all the sides. Well, this one, I don't have all the sides, so I can't find perimeter. Well, again, maybe they said it was a rectangle. And you know that for all rectangles, the width is always the same and the length is always the same. So now I do happen to have all of the uh, sides of this. would be 10 and 10 is 20, four and four is eight. So this would be 28. And if there's no units, don't stress about it. But if they do give you, <laughs> excuse me, if they do give you the units, then you just write them. So, okay, maybe this is meters, right? Meters, meters, so that's meters. When you're finding area, you know, you multiply and you get units squared. When you're doing volume, you multiply and you get units cubed. Don't forget for perimeter, it's just straightforward. It's just the units. So again, this one here, uh, let's say they tell us that this is a square. For a fact, we know this is a square. Maybe they only give us one side. And again, oh no, you know, I don't know the other sides. Well, remember for a square, every single side is the same. So six, 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 six. So this perimeter, adding them all up would be 24. So that's it. The perimeter is very easy. The only way they can try to make it difficult is by not giving you sides and making you think. In this case, it was a rectangle. So they gave me two and I figured the others. In this case, it was a square. I knew that all the sides of a square are the same. This one, they just gave them to me. So here's a common perimeter problem where they're, they're reaching, trying to make you think because perimeter is too easy. So here's one that's a little bit of a challenge. Okay, so here's a classic example. And before we even do this, let me just warn you, this is not to scale. So I apologize if one length comes out longer than the other and it looks shorter. Don't worry about scale. So here's a picture, right? And the first thing you have to do is say, okay, so what? This perimeter is super easy. I'm going to just add all the sides. But oh no, here's a bummer. I have this side. I have this side. I don't have him. I don't have him. I do have him and I do have him. So I could start and just start adding guys. But really my main concern here is that I'm in trouble because I need to find him and him, right? I need to find this side and this side. And it's again, it's pretty easy. They're just trying to uh, make these into riddles. This here is two, but if you think about it, if I extended this all the way up, right? To here, from here to here, we know that length because it's given on the other side. So obviously if this whole thing is six from top to bottom, how much is missing right here, which is the same as this guy right here. How much is missing if this is two? How much more to get to six? This is clearly four, right? And that logic does make sense. So I found this guy here. So now I'm, this is my issue. I need to find this length here. And right, we know that this whole thing here is 20. So couldn't I say, couldn't I argue that this whole thing from here to here is 20, right? So if that whole thing is 20 and half, part of it's six, what is left in here? If this is six and this should get to 20, well then apparently that's 14. Again, look at my drawing perfectly to scale, right? This is four, this is 14. That does not make sense. Don't judge me. Okay, I made this on the fly. All right, now do we have all of the sides, right? And we do. So we did a little work to find the missing pieces and now we can add all these up. Obviously six plus six is, let's just keep, you know, 12 plus four and four is another 18 plus two and 20 is 22. Add all these up and you'll get a fancy number. I don't know, I think it's around 52. Um, so that's it. So if they are trying to stretch and find a way to make perimeter difficult, they might not give you all the sides. So step one, find all the sides. Once you have all the sides, add them up and that is how you find perimeter of shapes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully uh, you ace a test on perimeters of polygons. And actually hold the phones. Okay, I just got a quick phone call from a friend saying, well, what about there's one last problem that's weird. What if they said you had a regular, right? I don't know, hexagon. And they said one side, one side was equal to five meters or something. The word regular when it comes to geometry is not 
subtle. This is a really important word. Regular means that all the sides are exactly the same. So if they said you had a regular hexagon, it might look like this, right? And they said one side was five. Well, then all of the sides are five because of the word regular. That is not a small comment. Um, and so a regular hexagon, all you would do is say, well, there's six sides. And I know each one is five meters, right? And then that would be really easy. Six times five would be 30 meters. What if they said I had a regular octagon, right? What if they said I had, for example, you know, regular octagon, and they said that each side was two meters, right? Well, I'd say, well, octagon, that's easy, has eight sides, and each one is two meters. So eight times two is 16 meters done. And then it comes down to do you know all your things? You know, square is four, uh, triangle is three, but the word regular is the key. It tells you, it indicates that every side is the same. Now let's do our little farewells, all right? All right, now I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good luck.